Hey, what's up, guys? There's always a little something going on. Um, I had, I had, um, I had a little um, mishap here with the technical difficulties, but I solved it this time. Because there was one time, one of the screen streams. I'm sorry, um, the camera just went out out of nowhere, but I figured out why it happened, and then it was about to happen again. But uh, yeah, just went ahead. And Got that fixed and everything. Um, let me see here. So yeah, oh, well, of course I got a couple of things to talk about today. I don't know, it's just something that always comes out of my mouth. Um, I haven't caught up as much with, I got a lot of, actually I got a lot of news that you guys need to hear as always. I mean, that's the only reason why I should be streaming. Um, but I got a lot of catching up to do myself. So, um, you know, let me go back to the seven. I always try to have this on the seven day and not just the daily. So we can get a real picture of what's going on in the market. Um, so listen, um, I was I saw a lot of people, um, there's people who've asked me about it. I've seen people on Twitter. Um, <laughs> honestly, I guess I just have a little bit more, um, I don't know, just faith in the markets being that I've been in longer. But sometimes I see people in the market, they've been in as long as I have, and they just get so scared, like so fast. like. We blew through the 48,000 level. We blew through 50,000. So, yeah, we kept hitting against the wall of 53,000. Um, and so, it was, what was that? It was like at 53 just, uh, da, 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 you know, that's what, a day ago? Yeah, a day ago. <laughs> so, it was knocking at 53. It's a little bit retracement. And I see people already, they just, they are just getting ready for that. Like, hey, we finna go to 36, 28. I saw one person say 28K. I thought the 36 was bad. Somebody said, oh, we're going back to 28K. And I keep telling y'all, man, <laughs> number one, don't be fearful. You at the beginning of the market, the market is going to go up. You're going to make a lot of money um, if you play the cards right. And most of all that I won't harp on, stop trying to trade. <laughs> just chill. Just chill. You, I know at least in my group, we got in good entries. And uh, oh, you know, let me address this up front. I know my energy is kind of low now. I'm, I'm just chill. It's not that I'm upset or anything. I'm just kind of chill this morning. Um, but I'm going ad to address something that one of you guys asked me about the other day. I said it and you guys asked me about it. I say, hey, I know sometimes you guys get in these plays and sometimes you're excited about 50% um, gain. Um, and then, you know, sometimes you're excited about a 2x. And I'll use this. This is the entire market. This is just not my calls. This is everybody's calls or if they don't call them. Um, I made the statement that I do not get excited really until I'm up to an 8x. Um, I know it's like a really just kind of throwing out that number. But I say that because um, I like that, you know, sometimes the people in my group, you get excited because you're making money and you make a one or two X or three X sometimes. Right. Um, or 50% if you're coming from stocks. You're really excited about that 50% gain, that 75% gain. Um, nothing wrong with that, but being a person, I've been in the market a long time. And so um, I don't get excited until 8X. And the reason being is because you can get that 3X, your, pump, your play can start pumping real quick and it can be a 2 or 3X overnight, right? Um, so let's say you start at a dollar. It goes up to $3 and you're really excited. That thing can go right back to 115 um, there's nothing bad about it. There's nothing wrong. This is how the market works. People taking profits. So that's why I said I don't get excited to the, until an 8x, because once I get up to like an 8x, I know I'm comfortably my retracement zone is going to be a four to five x. And so I'm cool. Once I got to that four x point, I'm really cool. And so I want to just reiterate to you guys is it's nothing wrong when your play goes up three x and it goes right back to almost where you got it at. Um, that's the thing that happens. And sometimes it go below. So. I don't really get excited until like an 8x. Um, uh, so, yeah. So, listen, you know, Bitcoin's doing what it's doing. I got some stuff to talk about today. Some of it might sound the same, but hopefully you hear it different. But a lot is going to be new. But some important stuff I want to talk about. Um, we've already addressed the Bitcoin price. Y'all just chill. Um, it, could we go lower? Yes, we can. But don't. I'll keep. I'm going to just say it again. Stop trying to trade. Uh, so here's this story here. Um, this one's a little bit older. It's not as fresh and new. And I'm going to actually read quite a bit of what's on here. Um, but the pretty much Circle, um, which is the the makers of USDC, um, if you had been in the market a while, if, you, if you're new to the market, you probably only ran into USDT, which is USD uh, tethered. 
Um, there's USD coin, both of them are stable coins. Uh, if you're new to the market, you will run into USDC soon. I know you're probably used, used to USDT. Um, but this goes along the lines of why some artists, you know, a couple of couple of people have asked me what I do when I, you know, take profits or what I do. I always say that I put um, some in USDC, some in USDT. And with both of those stable coins, I also uh, split them up on what blockchains I put them on, you know, Solana, Polygon, Ethereum for the long term holds, even though we know Ethereum is slow and, and can be um, expensive. It is one of the most secure right now. And so if I know I'm holding for long term, my long, long term is in uh, Ethereum in uh, USDT, USDC or whatever. But anyway, so um, USDC uh, discontinued Tron. Um, let me just read it uh, verbatim as we have it here. We are discontinuing USDC on the Tron blockchain blockchain in a phase transition effective immediately. We will no longer mint USDC on Tron. Transfers and redemptions of USDC on Tron will continue to operate normally through February 2025. Um, Circle Mint customers may transfer USDC on Tron to another supported chain of USDC or redeem, redeem their USDC on the Tron blockchain to fiat currency directly with Circle. Uh, retail holders and non-Circle customers may use the hundreds of global ser services available, including retail exchanges, brokerages and on and off ramp providers to transfer the USDC to another supported blockchain or redeem it to uh, fiat currency. Wait, did I just read that twice? Yeah, I'm a little tired. Let me <laughs> go on. So anyway, um, our decision to uh, discontinue support for USDC on Tron is the result of an enterprise wide approach that involved the business organization compli compliance and other functions across the company. We will continue to grow USDC and expand its reach to additional blockchains to deliver widest access, um, broadest develop, developer choice, and most secure user experience of any dollar stablecoin in the world. As always, USDC remains redeemable one-to-one -one for US dollars. Um, so I say that to say is me being in the US, um, I usually use, uh, you know, transferring and stuff like Solana, Polygon, um, you know, all these chains. I did not realize uh, I've heard it uh, numerous of times being in the market, but how much uh, Tron is actually used outside of the U.S. A lot of people use Tron. Um, but what I will say is I'm not going to harp on this too long is Justin Sun, um, who took over Tron, does not have the best uh, reputation in the crypto world. Um, he's done, uh, you know, a lot of stuff between harassing employees and all kinds of stuff. So Tron is not a really is not looked at well in the crypto space. That's why you can probably see that Tron never really pumps as much. Um, I know a lot of business and transactions does go through Tron because it's uh, it's kind of cheap to use. Um, I also believe they have some other business practices, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, I mean, I don't. Is there? Any, can you really fud Tron? I mean, people are going to use it if they use it. If they don't, if they don't, you know, whatever. Um, but so that's what I'm saying. It's very important. This may seem like boring news to you, but it won't be boring when you say, "Hey, Tron is a cheap network, and I'm a you know hold my USDC or USDT on Tron." Um, that's Tron is not one of the networks I ever used to hold anything. Every once in a while, every blue moon, if the exchange only has like three choices and Tron is the cheapest, I'll like send it on the Tron network. But I never hold anything. Let me make sure I'm plugged up, y'all. Yeah, I am. I never hold anything on um, Tron Network. Um, like I said, Justin Sun does not have the best um, reputation. It could not, you know, this probably has nothing to do with Justin Sun. I don't know, but I, I feel like it, it kind of has something to do with him. Um, a lot of people really not, uh, you know, liking him. Some other news that's important to you because um, this is a project that I was bullish on last cycle, bought into or whatever. I thought about it this cycle, to be honest. Um, but I didn't. I got like, you know, Injective, Solana, um, Celestia, all that kind of stuff as far as my blue chips. Um, this is one. This news is not as um, fresh either. It's like a couple of days old, but you may maybe you didn't see it. But uh, Thorchain or Rune was delisted from Buy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What was it? Buy bid it was, I believe. And um not fudding it it's a big market cap so i really can't fud it but i don't know if this is going to potentially spread across um other chains or whatever i'm not sure what happened i was reading in this article here 
once again, I'm going to just read the stuff so you guys have the information. So listen, I always try to cover news. This stuff is important too, as well as talk about micro caps and why and you should and maybe should not buy into stuff. And I got some other very important stuff that you guys need to hear um, in a minute. Um, but in the recent development, store chain, a decentralized liquidity pro protocol has come under intense scrutiny due to glaring flaws in its network. This warning comes amidst Bybit's exchange decision to delist Rune, the Rune token, citing concerns over these flaws. It's imperative for users to heed this cautionary tale and divest or take your money out from Thorchain before it's too late. Uh, Thorchain's troubling past. Uh, and let me say this too <laughs> before I continue reading. Uh, you know, Solana has had FUD. Uh, you know, I'm not saying this is like a Terra Luna situation, but this this might be a little bit more than Solana. I don't know. I just it's not something I would um, continue holding. I know the interoperability and some of you guys are bullish on that and with Thorchain and stuff, but I don't know. Um, you know, I don't, I don't have to read all this. Uh, you can read it if you want to. It's a Medium article um, you can find on medium.com. Uh, Beware of Thorchain. You can search that and find out what's going on. Uh, but the price did take a hit. Um, like I said, I know a lot of people that were bullish on Thorchain. Um, it was down 9% on the day. It's saying, well, at this point, it's saying 3%. But it, it did take a hit. Uh, because like I said, this news is about four days old. So no, it, it took it took about a 10% hit. Um, so yeah, that's why I say y'all can search all the, the, the low caps that you want to, you know, search and all that kind of stuff and make money off. That's great. I'm always happy when people are making money, but you got to keep up with this stuff. And that's why I try to bring this stuff. So I guess if you come to the channel every day, you keep up with this stuff um, because, you know, you do want to know when there's news like this on a token that you're holding and this can happen with smaller um, coins as well. So just something to be mindful of. If you're coming in once again, um, Circle is not supporting um, USDC on Tron anymore. So if you have Tron, I mean, excuse me, if you have USDC on the Tron network, you might want to move it to something like, you know, Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, it's just another supported chain. So USDC is fine, but they're no longer support supporting Tron. I didn't think to dig too deep into it. Just like I said, what I know about Justin Sons alone is just enough for me to be like, okay, yeah, whatever. Let's just move it. Um, <laughs> this news doesn't really reflect, but it is kind of it's kind of dope. Uh, now I know we were well. The U.S. is at least was closed for a bank holiday because it's President's Day on Monday, so Tuesday, which was look at me, I be in crypto so much. Sometimes I don't keep up with today. Yeah, today is Wednesday, so yesterday, Tuesday when they opened up, they had 14x times the trading volume. Like that's that's ridiculous. That's crazy. So I know some of y'all like, well, why isn't the price going up? You know, it's trading volume. It could be in and out. It could be anything. You know, people excited about. Listen, a lot of people in the stock market be excited about five percent gains. So uh, Bitcoin is going up quite a bit. So you know, it was just improved volume. Volume is always good. Um, well, not always, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, but it was just pretty interesting because 14x, like not not four, not five, but. It just shows you a lot of interest and a lot of attention is really coming back to crypto now. There's so many other metrics that I could talk about uh, that reflect that, but I don't want to be too long today. Um, there was actually a pick that you guys asked me about, and maybe I'll talk about it in the Patreon. Um, I'll, I'll beat around the bush on it, whatever. I won't bring it to the channel, but if you know what it is, you'll know what it is. But I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, oh, so here's another thing. So it's very important. I've brought this up before. I'm going to say full disclosure. Disclosure: I am, I am no leverage trading expert. I do not leverage trade at all. I don't two x leverage. I don't five x. And I don't, not a lot of people say, but well, that's moderate. Um, you can, you know, you can make some money like that or whatever. Um, um, I don't mess with leverage trading. So what happened is, um, I mentioned this, and the one of one of you guys came back and said, well, "Why did you say you don't do that again?" Uh, it's very basic. It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> you should know what you're doing when you're leverage trading. I know what it is and how it works and stuff. I explained it before, um, but it's just people see it as a way to make money fast. Um, and uh, so somebody came in and I think whoever they were following, maybe it was another Patreon or another YouTube channel said, hey, this is a good time to, um, uh, you know, put some leverage on Bitcoin. I don't I can't even remember which way they said they went. But I'm just talking about the story because apparently people got liquidated in long longs and shorts. Now, like I said, I'm not an expert uh, leverage trader, so I can't tell you why exactly this happened. But this is the dangers because they were gloating about we're definitely about to win this leverage trade. But somehow both sides got liquidated. So 
um, or lost money to break it down in layman's terms for you also that don't leverage trade and don't know what it's about. So that's what I always try to tell people. Um, don't try to leverage trade um because it's dangerous i know you can make you feel like you can make money quick and i could 10x my money real quick and some of y'all be going stupid and be trying to do 30x and 100x and you don't don't know what you're doing uh but listen just have patience in the market as i always say as boring as it sounds for those that stick around who realize that i kind of know what i'm talking about in the next eight months y'all fun you're not gonna remember none of this sitting still you're not gonna probably remember none of this you just gonna know you're gonna be in tremendous gains and uh, I'm going to talk about the running trades in a different way. I know I talk about it quite a bit, but let me get back to my notes here. Um, so, yeah, don't leverage trade. Uh, both sides got liquidated. I can't tell you how that happened, so don't ask. But here's the here's the evidence right here on screen um, um, talking about it. Uh, I'm going to put this back up for now because I always leave windows up and I'll, re I'll review that crypto pick later. So um, this is one that hit me. And so... Um, I knew something was going on uh, from people on the channel when you guys come on the live uh, and people in the Patreon asking me about certain picks in a certain category. And so this morning, uh, yeah, listen, so in the morning, I do try to wake up and see if you guys ask any questions in the Patreon and um, you know, I wake up early, but I really try to start getting my new stuff together, figure out what news story is important, what will matter to you guys, uh, you know, check different just different stuff on crypto or whatever so usually right before the stream i'll get a chance to peek in there and see maybe what you guys have asked about or talked about um and so i'm going to talk about three things that you guys talked about so anyway um you guys kept asking about these tokens and they kept being the same ones and i'm like well these are not known <sighs> i'm not gonna flood anybody anybody's channel on stream um like I said, because for whatever reason, I I know that I'm trying to help you guys and other people may see like, oh, he's just fun and stuff. But there was a particular YouTuber. Let's get into it. There's a particular YouTuber. Um, and I'm going to just like try to title what I'm about to talk about. And what I said was they're mixing good coins with bad coins. And that's what's confusing, y'all. Uh, so let's make this simpler. Uh, they will talk about coins. They may talk about two coins that are out that are good they'll talk about two to three coins that are not out yet that are super good so you got five coins that are super good then what they will do is feed to you dirt in the trash low market cap coins um that are bad but if you're not well versed in the space and you don't know this and let's let's be real about this they're talking about five very good coins and then they give you, let's just be real what it is. They give you five other coins that are under 1 million, under 2 million. You know, they're usually under a million or under 2 million. And this is what I talk about all the times on the channel. Man, you keep talking about this because it keeps coming back up because you guys keep like falling forward or getting trapped by it. So this is another example, though. This is just not you being shielded one token. So they're mixing them in. So you're like, that these are plays are good. I went and researched these and everybody was talking about these. Oh, he's trying to get me in early to these. No, he's not. What he's doing is like I always say, he probably put 50,000, 50 grand into this thing or whatever, a big amount of money when it's under a million or um, and some of these I went back and tracked and I saw the I saw the quick bump. I saw the quick bump with somebody dumped in a lot of money. And then it went trailing for a minute and then just was sitting at that bottom and they brought it to their channel and then it skyrockets up and it does a four or five X. Um, I won't call the person out on the stream, uh, but what I will say is, and this is the part that, that sucks. Um, they are connected because they have a bigger channel. And so what happens is the people will just give them tokens for free for the good projects, for the good ones. So good projects, they get tokens for free, for free. They are not getting in on the private sale or pre-sale. They are paying nothing. So there's not like I'll talk. I talk about pre-sale and private sales sometimes. And so let's say somebody puts a thousand dollars in. Right. And before it comes to market where you can buy it, they are already up five or 10 X. Right. They are not even putting thousands. So you what, what happens is they're getting ten thousand worth of tokens for a thousand if they put the money in. But they're putting no money in. Because their channel is bigger, the projects will just give them tokens in order to talk about it. 
these are for the bad projects and the good projects. This is how it works when you're a big YouTuber. That's why a lot of people get there, try to get there. Um, I'm just talking. I'm giving you all the, the, the I'm giving you the alpha on the space. Alpha is not just token calls. So this is why a lot of people who were started as small YouTubers eight months ago are trying to work hard to build their channels. I don't care about building my channel to be big. Um, and a lot of them that you y'all know who I'm talking about, like they started at four thousand. Now they're at like fifty thousand. You can. Yes, you can pay for followers on YouTube. You can um, you can pay for um, ads on YouTube. And so that's how a lot of these people are building their channels so quickly because they're trying to get to where projects are just handing them tokens. So anyway, so they'll get into these good tokens and you're confused because you're like, didn't they say they got 100x from one? They got 100x from when they got into pre-sale and private sales when the token was given to them. And they'll present it as, because you don't know, you're just coming to the channel. They're presented as, I gave you 100x on this. I gave you a 300x on this. No, you got a 300x. I got a 50x maybe if I listened to you early. Um, so that's what's happening. Um, you guys are being fed good, co bad coins in, mixed in with good coins. And so it's confusing. Not to mention, um, these coins are um, under a million and you got to realize they have big channels. So they are pumping the token. I, I've talked about this earlier on my channel a lot, too, that if you're in a big Patreon, is that Patreon is pumping the token? That's not the rest of the market. That's not people saying, oh, this is a good project. Um, they have the ability to pump these tokens. Granted, Zoe doesn't have that. So y'all probably like, man, oh, my, these, some of these coins are sitting still. We're waiting for people to find out. And actually, I'm going to talk about that in a minute, too, when they get bullish. But anyway, you're getting fed bad coins that have mixed in with good coins. Um, I'm never you know, going to stop you from making money if you want to invest in something because it's on a million market cap. And it's probably you know guaranteed to give you a quick two or three or four X. Um, I understand that. But I don't want you guys to be thinking these are long term holds. Um, yeah, I, like I said, and I know you probably like, man, I don't know, man. Zoe said he didn't, he was going to buy this one and it pumped two or three eggs. For one, I can't hold every token. I'm not chasing every micro cap. Uh, understandably, you can make these quick three and four X's when a channel that size is pumping these tokens, um, on their behalf because they're also making money. Uh, but you just got to understand that some of these tokens are not a long term hold. Um, so yeah, you could, you probably like, man, I don't, I don't know. Zoe probably don't know what he's talking about. He's wrong. I'm not going to try to hold every token. I'm, I'll tell you, like, oh, yeah, yeah, you could probably make a, I've, I said it on some of them. Yeah, you probably make a you know, quick couple of X's there. Um, I just won't hold certain uh, tokens. Um, so, yeah, make your money, but just be careful and know what you're, you know, what you're really getting into. Um, oh, I kind of cover that. Yeah, so this, I'm going to read the note. The note says um, a lot of these game, to uh, or not a lot, but some of these game crypto, gaming cryptos, are launching at very low market caps below 1 million and what's happening is they themselves and they're running on hopium and hope that in and, and your hopium that hey man it's only four hundred thousand, so it's got 100x is only uh you know 40 million has got to do it sometimes they don't do it sometimes they just dump um so they're just throwing stuff together they're throwing some real quick stuff together in real engine and throwing out some trailers and showing you like and you're like, man, this project looks really good. And what you call it, talked about it. And so whatever. But they're hoping for the influences to pump these micro caps. Uh, and but there's really never going to be any more development or bullishness behind these projects. Now, you you know, the whole market is speculative. Could you go from a four four a four hundred thousand market cap and quickly pump to 40 million, and get a quick hundred X and be in euphoria and be excited? Yes, you can. Um, it's the potential is always there. Um, but isn't I don't take those type of risks because cryptos are you know risk enough. Um, but yeah, they 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 really be they be hoping that these influencers could do could do it. Um, and a lot of these projects are just they're just straight trash, man. Um, here's a, let me, this is actually even more important though. So it it works on you guys, and I'm not saying I'm not trying to say you're not smart or anything. I'm just really trying to show you some perspective here. So you get into a micro cap that's 500,000. You'd be like, I heard such and such talk about it. It's pumping now. Um, it's pumping. I'm going to get to something real important here. So you'll say it's pumping now. I heard influencers talk about it. It's only half a million market cap. It's, it's got an easy potential to do 100x though. Um, and it's pumping now. Let me point out to something to you guys real quick. And I see a lot of people get bearish. Do you see Shrapnel trying to pump their token right now? No, because back to my point the other day is they know you want to start pumping when your pump is going to get consistent. Is is Shrapnel a trash project? No, it's not. 
but because they're smart about the market and they're not trying to just steal money from you. These projects that are trying to pump right now, I'm telling you, there's some of them are not the good projects. Like they're trying to pump because so once again, so they can make quick money and put in another project. I know y'all feel like this stuff is repetitive, but yeah, you don't see Shrapnel trying to convince you that it's a good project. You don't see Shrapnel doing that or some of these other projects. They're chilling out right now. They're not wasting their marketing budget or any of that. The dirt trash projects are going straight to influencers and to pump the projects up and influencers would do it. They don't care about you. Um, they're just trying to make quick money. Uh, so, I mean, I think that's a great example. Yeah, Shrapnel ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody. Uh, they got some gameplay coming up. They have a little tournament here and there, but they're not going crazy with marketing right now. Um, and sadly, and fortunately and unfortunately, depending on what side you are on, you guys will see what I mean in six to eight months, you know. Um, anyway. Um, oh, so this is another important note. I f actually, I just found out something. I, you know, I research my projects and I'm try I make sure they're good when I bring them to you guys. But for one of the, for one of the picks in the Patreon, that I've uh, talked about. <laughs> and this is another thing. When the stuff is pumping, y'all like, oh, he's a genius. And when it starts sitting still, y'all like, I don't know if he know what he's talking about. Uh, so uh, one of the picks in particular that I'm I'm very bullish on, I never changed on it. It started pumping at one point. I think we got like 50% on it. And then it retraced. And um, so other people is like, man, I don't know. You know, unless it dips a lot, then they'll be like, hey, man, this, this dips a lot. I'm a, I'll buy some. Um, but I'm bullish on the project, very bullish on it. But what I found out is this is the good and bad that I'll be trying to tell you all with influ influencers. What I just found out is that for this particular token, the reason why it's not pumping now is the same reason I told you already. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, the people in the pre-private sale, whatever sale you want to call it, pre-private sale, uh, they don't get their tokens for well, as of now for another five months. So. Um, that's a good thing because this project is going to be really bullish. And um, so you have time to accumulate now because they they listen, the influencers, the people who got into pre-sales and private sales and whatever gaming conglomerates that I know are going to be behind this project. They, they don't see a need to talk about it now. They don't have the tokens. They can't they can't make gains on it. They can't. You know, if the token pumps is good for them because they know when they do receive their tokens, price is already going to be pumped up but far as like coming to their channels and talking about it or, or talking about it on Twitter. Nobody's talking about it. Um, and so if they're smart, even if they're in the pre and private sale, the price is so good now that they would they would start accumulating. But yeah, I just found that out. I think it was last night or this morning. I was like, oh, it's, it's a uh, what they call a six month cliff, which means they get into pre sale. And when the token launches, they, they don't get anything when it comes out. They got to wait six months before the tokens come out. And so that's what's going on with that project. I kind of been wondering myself. I know they have different projects have cliffs or whatever. Um, but for this particular one, I was like, oh, OK, because this thing should be moving. Um, so it's actually good. You got time to accumulate if you're in the Patreon. And um, I know y'all going to say, which project is that? I'll answer when we get off. Um, let's see where we are on time. I'm pretty I think I'm early today, right? Yeah, I thought so. I feel a little early. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with that project. So there's that's the good and bad with influencers and all this kind of stuff. But that's why I want to make sure the project is good first, and they're going to develop and they're going to um, they're going to execute on what they say they're going to do. Then I add in that it's good to have influencers. But to just be in a trash project that influencers are pumping, um, that's not going to do you any good. Uh, you're just going to get dumped on. Um, and once again, you know, I'm gonna get to you guys' comments in a minute. Um, I'm, yeah, I think everything tech wise is still together. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, oh, so this is one. I'm gonna give you an example of this one. I, yes, sometimes I talk about the same stuff, but you need it needs to be reiterated and said different ways. And I'm going to give you some examples. So, this is something I've been preaching from day one. Um, but even for me, I got a, a wake up call on it. Um, and I'm really just is is really evident right now that i keep saying that right now what is it we're, we're now i think we're at ten thousand cryptos in the market of a, a, a ten thousand five hundred ten and a half thousand if that's a phrase um i believe by the time if we stick to the cycle the parabolic phase of the beginning of next year i believe by that time we'll have like twenty thousand cryptos on the market and i've been saying this i've said it on multiple streams that the market is oversaturated and you want to be in place that people will remain bullish on and continue to pump I'm quickly seeing already with 10,000, because we're used to 2,000 cryptos, with 10,000, people really are just jumping from trade to trade. Um, I will say with AI, 
also in line with uh, one of the influencers. I think this is actually, oh, this actually was the same influencer. Yeah, so this is the same influencer. Um, if y'all guess it, y'all guess, whatever. But did a, a video on AI plays the other day. I believe two of them were decent. The rest were garbage, hot trash garbage. I did the I did the research deep, 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 maybe research, maybe not, but deep enough to be like, these are all garbage. And so once again, I keep telling y'all my narratives, gaming, interoperability, great layer ones, modularity, um, that type of stuff and getting into deep end um, and, uh, and AI. A lot of these AI plays are just garbage. They're straight trash. Can you make money with them? With speculation, yeah, you can, but I can't be speculating that much. Some of this stuff, they really like everybody's been saying it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, be careful because people are just tacking on AI to the project that act like it's, it's AI. I've heard that. I've said it. I've known it, but they are really just making hot garbage and they're just saying we're an AI project and it'd be trash. Some of them are actually pumping. I can't lie to you. Some of them are pumping, but um, this influencer, like I said, one or two, two good picks maybe. And then just shield y'all just straight garbage after that just trash that was under a million and he, he knows because he has a big youtube that y'all gonna fomo into it and i've seen yes yes i know day two and three eggs man zo you kept that from me man i could be making those gains i'm protecting you because everybody wants to say i knew it was gonna pump until it dumps you, you're not gonna say i knew it was gonna dump like everybody is a know-it-all with hindsight um but knowing what I know about these some of these projects I'm just like I'm just I'm just getting least just less and less bullish on AI this run um there's a couple that are decent even for I told y'all one of them is pumping um and you know everybody's channel tries to be the first to bring y'all something and I I can tell you today if you know which one I'm talking about if you go to the day that I made a live I made a live that was said like how we use AI in our everyday life I couldn't talk about any of the AI picks because I was finding stuff wrong with all their contracts. And so I would have been one of the first people to bring that to you, but I couldn't because even still the track, the contract is messed up and it, you can, they can change the, um, they can change the, uh, what is the, the buy and sell percentage? Like I said, so that means, you know, if they wanted to change it to 100%, you would never be able to sell your tokens. Um, and some of y'all saying, man, that, that can't happen. That won't happen. They making too much money we've seen it happen in the past and it's just not a risk um that i'm willing to take on these ai projects um but yeah like i was saying i'm seeing more and more how people are trading in and out and uh not sticking to projects so you want to be buying into the projects that people are going to be holding through the bull run um not just make a 10 and 20x on and move on to the next project and the project is never talked about again um then to be honest i do believe this one is going to come back so i'm not fudding it but do y'all see, let's use a real example. Do y'all see how Pepe like tried to recover twice or three times now? And it's still hovered now in the bull run. Yes, in the book, people will run. Pepe probably still will do a great run because a lot of you guys are holders and y'all going to start shilling it to the retailers. They come in. But it's a prime example how people just went to bunk and then they went to whiff and then they went to Miro. And I'm trying to show you the market is oversaturated in every area. That's why I can be quiet for some times. You're like, man, is he going to put anything out? I'm just trying to make sure the stuff we get in the two for one has high upside and it's going to be stuff that people are going to hold uh, that we can make high upside on and retail can come in and buy too. Um, so I think Pepe is a great, let me see what Pepe is at right now. Um, I don't know why am I even talking about meme coins, but it's a great example. I remember it traced at 220 or whatever, and then it got up to 500 and it's just been sitting around. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Let's pull out the chart. Some. So it's been sitting around this 450 to 500 area. See there? It's not moving because people are just moving on to the next trade. So you can feel good. You see it, how it dropped and it's just been in this area. This is on screen, right? Y'all can see this, right? Yeah, y'all can. Um, so I sound like Mr. Boring now. But what I do know is that for the people who stick with the channel, stick with the Patreon, is why are you seeing everybody making four and six X trades here? We at the end of the bull run, you're gonna comfortably get those. Um, 50 and 100 X's. I want to say 100 X because I believe that's what we're getting, but I always try to be conservative. And I like to over under promise because, it, you know, 50 X on your portfolio is really good. Um, we all, including me, can be very greedy with always wanting 100 and 200 and 1000 X's. And I, I'm, you know, I'm believing we're going to get some of those, but 
I'm a, I'm in the camp when I know when I'm putting stuff in my Patreon at the end of this, if you're in now, you're going to get a 50x on what we talking about. Um, and I'm, I comfortably say that. Do I want to say 100x? Of course I do. Um, that because that's the actual goal. That's the realistic goal. For, that's the goal for me in my head. But I, I tell even for myself to keep myself. That's why I tell y'all not, not not let the market control y'all emotions. So I don't get it too heavy into my emotions. I've already told myself, Zoe, if you 50x your portfolio, be grateful, be happy. You've done a good job. Um, so and that's the entire portfolio. You hear me? So um, euphorically, now I'm, I'm shooting for some thousand X's and some cryptos. Um, and I, I would ideally want my entire portfolio goal is to, my entire portfolio to be around that 150, 180 X, to be honest. I'm just, I'm just talking, but, um, this is what's in my mind for real. But if I do the 50 X, uh, I'm cool with that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it. This is no longer just Lorenzo's theology or whatever that I'm seeing people themselves. I see them talking about it themselves. Like they just jumping from trade to trade. Um, so you got to make sure you're in the ones a whole. Yeah. You could have made a four X, uh, or whatever. And, uh, so it's kind of boring investing advice, but go ahead and take your initial investments out or whatever. Um, uh, because some of these players are not going to be long-term like y'all think. Uh, so you can just keep your moon bag in and ride up to the top. If that's what you want to do with some of these plays. Um, but for one of the particular plays and y'all know what I'm talking about in the Patreon, um, y'all asked about it heavily yesterday, talked about it this morning. Somebody was saying they made a, uh, I think a three X on it, which is cool. Um, I won't say what it is now. Maybe I'll talk about it tomorrow as I do deeper research. Cause it is causing for that. What I didn't like is that some of the partnerships they said they had, I know for a fact are not partnerships. Um, that part I do know is just that they are trying to build with those chains. They are not partners like those. Those are not partners who put money into and are investing in and tracking the project and keeping up with it. So I don't like when people do that. And so it's kind of a red flag for me on that project. Uh, I know it's a dirt low market cap and y'all getting gains on it. That's why I'm not going to say the name because you guys are my Patreon and making money on it. So I'm not going to flood it. Um, but be careful. Uh I was I, I saw like one pretty decent backer, um, one of the other backers. Everything they invest in is just hot garbage trash. Like so, that's another thing that was a red flag to me. Like I don't believe they had one. No, I think they had maybe. Okay, I'm I'm talking about out of like eighty projects I've seen them invest in, two of them were uh, moderately successful. The rest of them was just like hot garbage, like just trash. Um, so it's not all the times that when you see a VC, like, oh, that's good. That's that's why they have tier one, tier two VCs, tier three. Some of them are not tiered at all. Um, but so be careful with that project. If you can take out your initial investments and you ride your moon back. If, if Zoe is not completely correct on this, um, I never tell you all I know everything. Uh, I'll, I'll do more research on it and um, look into it for you guys. And hopefully you guys did find a banger. Um, I told you guys if I were to buy it, it would have been eight X's ago, because I think a lot of you guys got in when it ha had already did a four X. And so um, it did another four X. So it's like at an eight X now, whatever. So I'm giving you the information so you guys know which one I'm talking about. Um, but I haven't looked deep enough to say no or yes um, has one decent backer. But I just don't like how they said those were partners and those are not part real partners um, in the respect how people would think about it. But in crypto is speculative. So if they keep running that ad and running that narrative, it could still run because, um, like I said, it's not, I'm not saying any things like, oh, you guys are stupid or whatever, but it works on people. It works. It can work on me. It can work on anybody. When you see like, oh, my gosh, like they partner with these people, it makes you bullish on it. So if they can keep running it in that narrative and running that kind of ad campaign or whatever you want to call it, um, it could still continue to pump uh, as a, along with the lines of guys like you who got in early. You now are going to be on the chili squad, you know, pumping, pumping it to retail and shilling it to other people. So that's how the crypto space works. Um, so, yeah, just it's just those things to look out for. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I will see. Yeah, it would have been better if you got in eight X's ago, but I, I'm glad you guys are making money. I like to see you guys happy and making money. Um, but I want to you know, help you guys do that. And the the. The, the most safe way, the safest way possible. So I'm going to answer this one um, token. And this, this, I'm not purposely trying not to do four and five reviews like I do, but I did say I'm going to lessen that because for one, people think they can just come to the channel and ask about stuff and Zoe's going to review it. I ain't got to get in the Patreon. Um, I do. And I did very few today because research was heavy and 
There's a lot of stuff going on in the market, even though the price not might, may not be moving. But this one is a left I am. Uh, a left I am is not new. I I was one of the first people in the left last cycle. And I know I talk, I talk a lot about not getting into stuff from last cycle, but what I will say is um, left was already in the deep end narrative before deep end was a narrative at all. Um, I get I, I got to know in this last cycle uh, when it was it was just on like I think radium it wasn't even on exchanges yet, um, and I think um, last cycle the narrative wasn't as hot, um, and I think I got like a seven x on this. It wasn't it wasn't anything too big. It was like a seven maybe eight x. Um, it's crazy. Funny thing is now that young black, you don't know what he's doing. I was, I was holding it again at the beginning of the cycle when it was at like seven cents and I, I did sell it. I sold it. I think I sold it at maybe 21 cents. Like I made a three X on it. I know. Okay. So let me disclaimer. I know. Yeah. I say, do you say you don't trade in the bear market? You are trying to find those little trades, but once you start getting into the bull, you kind of want to find the stuff you're going to hold. It's boring in the bear market. So we all trying to find trades. So I didn't do too bad. I only missed like a two X. Got in at seven cents and I traded it like 21, got a three X and got out of it. Um, but anyway, left I am is like um, it's like decentralized um, cloud computing, computing, sharing, all that stuff. Um, storage. They more more people was talking about them for storage last time, but they're really cloud computing and they do have the decentralized storage. And um, I saw you guys ask. Oh, let me sorry. ADHD. Let me finish one sentence first. Anyway. Sorry, y'all. Left I am uh, decentralized storage, decentralized cloud computing. They are moving into, or they said they're trying to move into also doing the um, decentralized GPU. Um, so great developers, great team behind them. They were mainly on Solana, um, or known they were known as the Solana project last cycle. Um, but they are interoperable and working on other chains. Um, say they've been building so long, and I feel like they really know what they've been know what they're doing. Um, I would say it's a good project, even though it's from last cycle, uh, especially with DPN picking up um, a lot of people in the Solana space that are higher ups are bullish on it and like the project. Uh, of course, you guys are probably also asking about it. Let's go. Let's zoom in a little bit because I'm on the one year right now. So, yeah, it's been pumping this month, this month. Oh, yeah. So this month is done 135 X. So, yeah, I, it was where I left it at back in maybe. No, I can't remember what it was, um, but it was back where I left it at. Uh, so, but it's done 100% pump this month, and I see that for some reason I'm pretty sure there's been some YouTubers or somebody talking about like you know maybe cloud computing and storage and GPU because it is a narrative. Nvidia's earnings are supposed to come out. Everybody's bullish on that. I see that all over Twitter, and so I know a lot of people are talking about this narrative, and maybe that's why you're asking about it. Um, but yeah, they were deep in before deep in was a thing. Decent decentralized storage, decentralized cloud computing, and moving into the space. I believe they have the developers and the tech, the people to move into the uh, decentralized GPU narrative. That's going to be really huge with the um, you know metaverse being back. Even though everybody's like, oh, metaverse was only big last cycle because of Facebook changed their name to Meta. I know that's what everybody's saying, but the metaverse is coming. I can't say it's going to be this cycle. Um, but I think Metaverse is going to pump. But you have gaming also. You have uh, deep end. There's a lot of reasons that people are going to need decentralized GPU uh, D GPU power um, because I'm not trying to be like the crypto bro dude or whatever. Um, oh, I did forget something very important. That just reminded me. I got to go find it. But I'm not. I'm, I'm not trying to be the crypto bro guy or whatever. Uh, but what other way are we going to know that we're you know really sharing this computing power like you be, you're being able to see it on chain um how is how else can you send uh you know like gpu power or computing power to somebody you don't know but through you know through decentralization because you know if you sign up for an account you, you got an email on there your name's on there and all that kind of stuff so um that's not going to work as well let me, i'm sorry i'm not going let me but when i said the crypto bro thing um I just want to go back to this one. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Every time I bring this up, y'all gonna think I'm trying to be funny, but I'm not. Sometimes I'm joking, but sometimes I'm not. So that's Justin Sun, if y'all don't know. Whatever. Um, but anyway, so back to this circle thing. I'm just going to be on this briefly. Back to the circle thing where um, they're 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 not minting on um, Tron Network anymore, supporting it for like a better terms. Uh, once again, if you're coming to the stream now, if you have USDC on the Tron Network, you need to be trying to move it to another network. Um, I think USDT is still on there, but as far as USDC, you need to be trying to move it because they're not supporting it anymore. Um, but I saw this uh, comment here, and um, I know some of you guys may hold it, and I'm not trying to be funny here, but this is what I'm talking about with the crypto bro thing. And listen, 
I'm gonna say it again. We are here to make money. I love the technology. I love cryptography and crypto and what blockchain can do for the world. I, I really do like the technology, but I am here to make money. But anyway, under this um, under this post about uh, USDC discontinuing with Tron, this person said um, Cardano is without a doubt the safe place in crypto. It's obvious these these uh, crypto bros all know each other and conspire together. Uh, one gets exposed and then they prop up the next homie. Cardano is, is, did it differently. And much like Bitcoin, it stands against the very system. Like that sounds all cool that you're trying to be against the system and decent, but you're not going to make that much money in, in ADA. And it's just very sad to me. I'm really not trying to be funny. But um, what I even what I just r really didn't even realize to, until today, because um, I don't think about Cardano that much, to be honest, is that just like I tell you, a lot of these YouTubers, big YouTubers are trying to pump you their bags from last cycle. What I myself, I it didn't come to my mind to the forefront is that a lot of these people got in on Cardano at one penny. And just like everybody else who thought it was going to be extended cycle, Cardano dumped down on them from three dollars back to 30 cents or whatever, whatever. So now all these guys are like, no, I got I know it can go to three dollars. So I got to pump it back up. And yeah, if, if they got in at one penny and it gets back up to to what was it 270 or whatever then from last cycle they've made their 270x and so that's what they're shooting for or whatever but for you guys that are getting in now if you're trying to buy a bag of cardano now that's not where it's at these are for the guys who got in at one penny anyway i just want to say like yeah that you know stop y'all be too loyal to this stuff sometimes like we here to make money not to be loyal to a brand um you know if i didn't get into solana early then i you know i wouldn't be I love Solana, but I wouldn't be saying, yeah, man, come on, y'all, let's buy it at $100. I think in a bullish scenario, Solana could, could probably get to $1,000 from here, but that's really bullish. I'm not going to come out here and be like, man, I love Solana. Solana did it right. Y'all get into Solana at $100. Like, man, people be tripping. Let's make money, y'all. Let's get to some of these comments. Um, um, no, no, stop talking. What is the market doing? That's cool. Oh, uh, Bob said, yeah, going to just sit here and wait for that pump. Everything is bound to pump in the bull, right? Uh, not everything, but, you know, every, mm, kind of get a pump. Some of them just sit there. But, you know, yeah, uh, it's, it's all about patience, man. It's all about patience. And like I said, hindsight, y'all will see like, oh, I really see what Zoe was talking about when it was boring, when he was saying a couple of months ago. Uh, you don't have to trade in and out. Um, I sound like said any buy alerts coming. Um Today, there should be. We're getting a, a kind of retracement. We got all these uh, Fed speakers going on, and I don't want to get too deep into all that crap, but you know, Fed meetings or rather Fed speakers going on this week. Uh, so the, the market gets volatile anytime we have Fed meetings and Fed speakers or anything around that kind of stuff. Uh, but I think I definitely will have a few in a minute, probably when I get off stream. Um, it will just really probably be topping up. And that's another thing I try to reiterate. And I talked about it last stream is sometimes people want new projects all the time. Sometimes you just need to top up some of the bags you have at good entries. And it's not always about a new project. Um, but we will. I will have two new projects in the Patreon. Uh, oh, is that this week or next week? Let me sorry. Let me look at the calendar real quick, because even though I'm getting mad, I, I try not to give my brain too much to do. I don't even want to do simple math right now. Uh, next week. So next week, we, there should be two new projects. Um, but as far as today, it'll just be like topping up bags or maybe I will find something new. Um, but I'm just trying to listen. I'm trying to make sure we're in solid picks, as I always say. I'm not trying to be in a billion different trades and just like, OK, <clears throat> like I said, AI, on, AI narratives taking off. That thing will cool down before you all know it. Like so sometimes the stuff runs for three or four days and retraces all the way back from where it started. I'll give you a common example. Do your own research sometimes. Sometimes I give you nuggets. Go do your own research. Let's go back to when Apple Vision Pro this summer uh, first released the news that they were going to have an Apple Vision Pro. It was like May, June. All those uh, like VR, AI, metaverse plays like pumped up three and four X and people just sat in those bags and they dumped all the way back. Say if it started at one dollar. It pumped up to four dollars. People went crazy like this thing is going to continue to pump. Y'all don't be realizing this stuff be temporary. And the stuff that started at one dollar that pumped up to four dollars dumped all the way down to 80 cents. And now you're there looking stupid. So that's what I'll be trying to tell you. Stop chasing. Wait till it comes to you or just stop trying to chase what narrative is hot right now 
if you think that narrative is going to be hot later, then go ahead and get in it now. Ride it in the cycle like gaming or whatever you, narratives you in and just hold the bags and wait till the, the narrative comes to you. Um, but one thing I can say about gaming, gaming, I don't it won't need a news story from the video to pump because some stuff like AI will pump hard in the market because AI as a whole is big in the world. Um, but it still will be kind of like like seasonal short pumps. Gaming is just going it's going to just it's going to keep going because people going to keep coming in. Gaming is always narrative. It's not, it don't need any news. Um, oh, that was bad English. It doesn't need any news. I said it don't need, but whatever. Um, uh, Don the Don said, what's going on? What's going on, man? Lex Don said, morning's old. Morning to you, my friend. Um, Don the Don said, uh, are they partnered with games? Well, I thought, I think I saw that coming. Sometimes I don't be always up on the news. I just, listen, I, sometimes I can't give you all the fresh news on everything because I'm trying to look for new stuff as well and keep up with other stuff. But yeah, I thought that, I thought that was coming um, because some of the stuff I saw. So, um, you know, hopefully it starts moving soon. That's one of my, um, what I say, Hail Mary bags. But yeah, yeah, that's good news. Um, Mitch said G Swift to the moon. Yeah. Yeah. We hoping, uh, uh, you know, see some good movement out of it. It don't have to be right now, but G Swift is an amazing project. You know what I did see, though? Um, and this is not all about like, see, y'all should be on my channel because I'm first. But I saw some bigger people talking about G Swift um, that's been in the space that uh, actually I saw like. Uh, stash talking about it, which I didn't, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even expect that. But that's what I'll be saying. I tell y'all all the time, like being early does not always feel good because you like, do, do, do I, does Zoe know what he's talking about? Did we invest in the right thing? And then you slowly start seeing other people talking about it. Like the play I was talking about earlier that you can, and y'all probably already asked me in the Patreon which one I'm talking about, but I noticed that one play. I'm like, man, this play, this play is dope. Like, what's going on here? I even said, like, what's going on here? But I'm patient. So it's not like I was like thinking about selling it. But then I found I was like, oh, so nobody's going to have their coins until six months from now. Oh, it's probably five or four months from now. Now, uh, so accumulate, accumulate as much as you can. And then when once they get their tokens, trust me, everybody YouTube channel will be like, hey, check out this project. Um, but yeah, a lot of people starting to talk about G Swift now. I saw like three people that I didn't expect to talk about it. I saw one dude who's like heavy, just he's usually just heavy into tech stuff and all the nerdy stuff. He was talking about it. I saw Crypto Stash. I saw a number of people starting to talk about G Swift. Um, so, you know, all I can say is, hey, man, I told you. I was telling y'all at four cents, man. Um, and it's up to like 60 something cents now. So, yeah, I think yeah, I'm going to put like a 15x on that. Um, no humble brag. But uh, anyway, PC said, Zo, happy start to a beautiful day. I love that you say that every day. Yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. A little frustrated with some of my research this morning, some other stuff, but man, I'm, I'm always happy. I was, I'm happy because we in crypto early. A lot of people still don't know about it. Um, I've, to be honest, I've already made great gains through the bear market. And now so much that I keep reminding myself to be grateful for like where my net worth is now. Um, just coming in the bear market. Um, and even um, this is a side story. And I'm actually I shouldn't be saying this because he said he was going to say, it, but yeah, even with one of my members, um, just I don't want to say too much, but came just came from a different type of upbringing, um, kind of sort of like close to mine. Um, I'm saying yeah, I'm I'm whether I keep saying it. I know I speak well or whatever, but I, I grew up in what you would call the hood. You know, I've seen a lot of stuff that I wish I didn't see in my life. Um, and so they came from the same kind of background as me, um, hard worker, labor, like labor type of working, as well as two older guys that have done nothing but physical labor i mean the hardest of physical labor their whole life when i say older like one is like 62 the other one i'm not sure but anyway just to seeing those those who started with me first and to see where their net worth is now like they can't believe it and it's just like uh, i'm I see, I, I will get emotional um um you know because that's like my mom's age my mom is um my mom is 60, <laughs> sorry, 62, 62. So my mom's 63. So seeing somebody at my mom's age who's worked physical labor my whole life and they got that old man straight. You look at their forearms, man, their forearms, like they could they could knock you out. Everybody thinks it's the bicep and the tricep, but it's the forearm. But to see somebody who's done physical labor their whole life um, working for somebody who didn't respect them and just to see them having like saying that they've made almost more money since the bear market has than they've made in their, you know, years of work and the other work they I'm trying, <laughs> y'all see me find the motion. Um, y'all understand one day, 
I'm not a YouTuber here to pump my bags and to make money off Patreon. Like, man, that that like makes me so happy. Like, even I'm just being honest. Like, one of my guys is um um over in EA's group, and I would I would craft some of the uh, the messages, you know, because they just don't feel they could speak like the language of finances or speak properly or whatever. So I would like even craft some of their messages sometimes or whatever. Um, but it's just good to see, um, see people who worked hard, just like really changing their life. And so, like I said, I, I tell my, I remind myself all the time to be grateful because, um, I went from you know, like taking care of my grandfather with his dimensions, spending all this money per month, flying up back and forth to New York, paying for Airbnbs and all this kind of stuff. And so, let me give y'all some more information. So there's one pick in my portfolio that you guys yesterday, I was like, what the, like, how you got so much of this one? And so when I first got in the market, it was really, I was throwing money around, um, helping my grandfather's situation. And so I threw a whole, I was just like, like, I hold on, I'm sorry. So if you got a lot of money, you can disperse it into some, some safe plays and then some DJ plays, but I didn't have enough money at the time because I was taking care of so much with family to um to put in the market so i said i'm just throw it all in this hail mary play so i that's why i said i understand when y'all be trying to get that stuff under a, a million market cap but it's not always safe but that's why i have so much in that because i was like that was like my only play and i just threw a lot of money in there and so that's why that one is so big i wouldn't do that today um but anyway to say that starting where i was at and then we had a actors and writer strike in my industry and we didn't have much work um so even for me who's an actor and who's used to making really good money um my net worth wasn't where i wanted to be so already from the bear market to now um i've changed that tremendously and i'm you know that's why i say i'm i'm grateful every morning i wake up because we're making money in this market and uh like i said see to see people who didn't even know crypto existed like making this money it makes me excited you know i just try to make sure as much as i can i'm not trying to be y'all daddy but make sure y'all keep it stay in the right mindset don't go tricking off on, you know, listen, let's be honest. Everybody, oh, I'm just, don't just do a little of this. And, you know, people lose their mind. They start doing drugs and they start, you know, I got money now. So I'm just going to start getting with whatever chick I want to get with and mess up your life. I want to make sure y'all do the right thing with the money. But let me shut up because I ain't nobody daddy. I don't want to talk about uh, life stuff too much because I know y'all here for crypto. Um, but I'm still to say, yo, what's good? Hey, man, what's good? What's, what's going on? Uh, PC said hit the like button, everybody. Oh, yeah. You know, do that little thing if y'all can for me um crypto world said uh man that's like the third time i cried on stream i was trying to hold it back but man i'll, I'll be feeling good um so <laughs> whatever man uh said speaking through you because i've been leverage trading for three days oh you said the lord was speaking through you because i've been leverage trading for three days now that's crazy man if you know what you're doing i guess you can do it but i, I know some people that got wrecked like i said it's funny because i don't i don't even study leverage i don't i don't i'm only going to talk about what i know um so um yeah both both sides got liquidated i'm really trying to figure out how that worked because i thought only the shortest or the or longest one so uh, you know we'll see what happens uh fly 75 said miria lol wait did i say something about miria or you, what were you saying you saying it, it did it had a little pump but it's it's kind of it's been kind of quiet like i said i got my bags early so you know we'll see uh so i said you're uh I don't know why I thought you were in there. Is the camera blurry? Did somebody? Uh, you know what? I didn't even um I didn't even do the focus um on the cameras, but I it should be focusing. Um I'll check it in a minute. Uh but the um hold on just a minute, y'all. Oh man. I'm sorry, I get emotional. Like somebody that's around my mother's age, um, and I know how hard my mother works, so just getting that financial freedom and used used to making that whether it's daily wage or minimum wage or whatever it is and and all of a sudden you like they had a pretty good amount that's what i'll say they had a pretty good amount uh really good amount and uh maybe one of them said they was going to talk to the patreon about it so we'll, we'll see what happens no pressure because i don't need any cheerleaders or anybody you know doing that stuff uh, let's see what we got here questions from you guys uh oh yeah i just put the the, the patreon link below for a say sigh if i'm saying your name correctly elephant para said is it possible we top out end of this year january february of next year and that's a big question man and i i want to get deeper into that myself i keep saying that this cycle may be quicker um uh, man i don't know what's gonna happen i keep telling y'all like i don't try to give y'all the long term but i use like if we stay to the usual cycle 
Um, you know, it's supposed to be the end of 2025. And I know a lot of people saying, hey, we're because uh, I think the metrics right now are we are usually usually around this time in the market. Bitcoin is 70 percent from what the all time high was. Um, so if the all time high was one hundred dollars, then we would be at thirty dollars right now. But this time around, we're only 30 percent away. So say if the all time high was one hundred dollars, we are at seventy dollars. So we're so close to all time high. And usually we're not this close to it. Um, and so a lot of people oh that, that uh, suction on that door just scared me. Um, but uh, so a lot of people are just just kind of speculating that we may. Um, I don't know. I can't say right now, but I'm watching as close as you are. Trust me. Well, I'm watching just as close as you are. Uh, it's a possibility. But the thing is, the thing that's the, OK, here's the thing that makes me say no, though, is because I feel like we got to have that money flow to come back into the altcoins. The same people that are making that money on Bitcoin um, wants to flow back in altcoins. So our altcoins have to make some kind of numbers on them. So some people are so scared that they're saying, like, well, if we move too fast with Bitcoin, I'm going to just pull out my altcoins. Well, I'm going to tell you one thing that I believe everybody's here to make money. And if my altcoins, especially some of these altcoins, ain't dead at least a 50x now, I'm not pulling out the market. Because let's see if we do another version of this. Now, I'm going to be honest, last cycle, I wasn't keeping up too much with the speculative news about the cycles, my second cycle, whatever. So what happened, I believe, in that man, in that uh, seller man walk away, a lot of people were saying that. See, they were like, see, uh, you know. The all time high, blah, 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 was higher stuff. So the market's over now, May. And then we had that recovery in June, July. And so a lot of people miss those games. Now, granted, you do want to be safe, right? You do want to be safe and take profits and average out as you go up. But some people pulled all the way out the market in May and they really missed a lot of gains. Like, so I know a lot of people saying they only got um, maybe a 10 to 12 X, you know, and they started in the bear market. Some of them only got a 10 to 12 X. Some people only got a 20 to 30 X. But when it was all said and done, if they would have stayed in, those people would have uh, they would have made two, three hundred X's like for real. That's not exaggeration. Um, so you just got to watch the market closely. None of us are expert. But oh, trust me, when that time comes around, we'll be talking about that a lot on the channel and in the Patreon and stuff. Uh, so, I mean, we could talk about early. I, I can't really uh, say we won't. Uh, but yeah, say said the, the is the camera blurry. Y'all? Is it that blurry? I don't, my screen is not too big. I'm in. The, I'm looking at the streaming software, y'all's questions and whatever. It may be a little blurry. It'll be all right. It's all good. Y'all can see me a little bit. Y'all know I'm a real person. Y'all can hear me. So maybe I'll fix it next time. James White said, "What's good, my man? Too late to buy G Swift." Um, I don't think it's too late to buy G Swift. Let me see. Um, in my bullish case scenario, um, I believe. Um, let me go over here. I don't know why my phone just went off. I have so much research to do and it's just going to get it's going to get it's just going to get be more research as the market goes on. Um, I wanted to talk about that, but I just. Yeah. Oh, it was a 61 cents for a minute. Uh, no. Um, when I got it, listen, I got in. So I know what you heard was you're like, man, he got a 15 X on it. But I got in G Swift when nobody's really talking. I want to say nobody, but not many people talking about it. People that was talking about it was like, it's going to be heavy dilution. You shouldn't buy this. Oh, that's crazy. But I bought G Swift at about. Three million. Um, and let me, well, you know what? Let me say this real quick. Let me say this real quick. Let me show y'all something. Listen to this real quick. This is important. Listen to this. So everybody kept talking about. Uh, let me do, wait. Let me do this math real quick to make sure I'm not wrong. Let me see. Um, because I mm, that that is that's not lining up really. No, no, that's not what I meant. No, sorry, y'all. Just a minute, y'all. Just a minute. If my phone would stop tripping. Let me see. Uh, 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 uh. That's kind of right. I feel like I've um I feel like I've made more X's than the market cap. Something's a, whatever. So anybody, anyway, sorry, y'all. So everybody was saying stay away from this because it's gonna be a bunch of dilution or whatever. But when I got in G Swift, it was around, I feel like three to four million market cap. So it's only at 37 million right now, which is still a very low cap. That's a low cap. Um, but what I was going to say is I feel like I got in around three to four million. But I remember it was like four to four and a half cents. Right. And um, 
I am up a 13x, but that's that's not a it's kind of like a 13x market cap. I'm gonna leave that one alone. But anyway, what else? Yeah, I got in early, but it's it's still a low market cap. And um, you know, I'm looking for the infrastructure play that this is, and once everybody starts talking about it, um, there is no modular gaming blockchain out there that does what GameSwift does. Plus, GameSwift has um officially like really incorporated AI, so it's in the modularity narrative. It's in the gaming narrative. It is in the AI narrative. And so they really cover a lot of the different narratives organically. And it's not just off of like, oh, we're just going to say we have AI embedded in. And they now they have the GPU sharing, too, which I was just talking about earlier with that Aleph is trying to get into. So because it's a gaming platform that you can come on the gaming platform and you can use other people's GPU power for the game. So, I mean, G Swift has a lot in it. To be honest, I guess I should do an update video. So like. And, and just include a lot of the new stuff that they have in it. But yeah, so they got the GPU sharing, just like, you, you know, with Render or whatever other projects. So man, GPU has a lot of stuff going for it. GPU sharing, AI, modularity, gaming, and all that kind of good stuff. And plus they're still on, they're still onboarding um, um, a lot of games. Oh, and interoperability as, as well. Yeah, because they're they're um, together with Layer Zero. Some of you guys should know what Layer Zero is, maybe you don't, but Layer Zero is like the big daddy of interoperability. That everybody's waiting for you have wormhole as well but mainly it's uh, layer zero um just means like it don't matter what chain you on it's completely interoperable um but they're integrated with layers that's why i said i can't believe people still sleeping on um game swift it's like it's funny to me but i know other people they have to be shielded from a big youtuber or twitter person before they uh, realize but that's why i say i try to talk about the stuff before they get there um, i might not talk about everything before it pumps because i'm not trying to be in everything but i will get you in the good ones um before before they pump uh let's see what we got here what we got here we got here. fly said we're studying hard last night besides gaming what's a good narrative to deep dive <laughs> you from my neck of the woods when you said <laughs> oh man i believe it what i said i uh, just getting hooked on modularity yeah modularity modularity gaming uh deep end is picking up ai is big and will be big but like i said a lot of these ai plays are trash and yeah some of them are pumping but i don't care i don't you know yes i'm here to make money but some of them got a lot of red flags and stuff so i know you probably like man so you told me this had a red flag so i didn't get it but look at it pumping like oh i'm sorry but i'm i'm trying to protect you like just as quick like i, I had like four this bear market before like before november december that everybody was like but zo everybody's talking about it it's pumping it's low those things have dumped so hard now and they're not moving because I keep trying to preach the same thing to y'all that these people gonna pump these up because they're trying to load a bag so they can put it into something good for later. I'm about, actually I'm about to look at it. I'm about to look at one of these right now again to see if I'm still correct on it. Not that I'm trying to be uh petty or uh whatever. I'm just trying to see if it ever recovered. Cause everybody was like, um uh, mm, 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 mm. Mm -mm -mm. Nope, that one hasn't recovered um, at all. Let's look at this one. Um, this one dumped back in November very hard, and it's been oh, so it just started trying to recover around two weeks ago, but it's kind of coming back down again. Yeah, that's why I mean, yeah, I don't know what to tell y'all, man. This this is some of these plays when they have red flags, I just rather not. I need to know it's gonna be continuously bull bullish. And if somebody doesn't know the red flags, I don't want it to be what they find out later, like I found it early and then it starts dumping. So if I know it was a red flag and people could potentially find out about this red flag, then I don't invest in it. I just wanna I just wanna go to sleep at night. And uh, I hear a lot of people saying, like, in crypto, you don't sleep. And I realize a lot of the reason the time you don't sleep is not because the markets are pumping and you're excited about the money you make. It's because you don't have full conviction in the plays you're in. When I go to sleep at night, I've studied all day long. I hurt my brain. Literally, my brain be hurting sometimes when I go to bed from studying. I don't I want to get good sleep. I don't want to worry about, like, I wonder is it going to do this or not, you know. Anyway, excuse me um is that is that is that dre j ray dre uh what's your take on chirply oh uh, i'm not too bullish on chirply i know a lot of people caught it like i said a lot of people caught it around a million and um i think chirply is probably even and i know y'all probably like see 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 but i still don't care i think chirply is maybe up like a 7x last i checked or 8x um because it was 1 million 
And then people were talking about like, see, uh, CZ's following it, y'all. So it's going to be, yeah, it's like a, um, so when people really started talking about it, it was back here. And that was like that November, December. And right around here is when, like I said, a, a particular YouTuber started shielding it. And it was only at 1 million, so it kind of took off. So yeah, it did like a little 8X or whatever. But um, unless I find something new on it, but I don't think I just thought what it, what they say to do, you know, like micro transactions or micro for micro influencers or whatever. And I know they plus have some kind of partnership with TikTok. Um, I don't know. It's just not something I'm just like I want to hold. Um, like I always say, though, I think that they're marketing the little guy they they got. I think he's it's cool looking, <laughs> like it's it's catchy, it's cool looking or whatever. Um, but it's not something I want to necessarily hold that I think can like keep like just killing it through the bull run, it doesn't seem like one of those projects to me. Um, but then again, I could be wrong, because like I always tell y'all, y'all got to think about how other people's perspective is. So maybe I heard some different perspective. Y'all, maybe y'all see more people bullish on it. And like, the, I don't even see them talking about the whole TikTok thing on the Twitter anymore either, though. But anyway, the reason it started pumping is because CZ from Binance was following it. And then this massive YouTuber started like pumping it. Uh, so maybe they're talking about it again in their disc or whatever i don't know man but uh, i'm not too bullish on it um i wouldn't hold it i'm not saying you can't make money off it but it's not something i want to hold um kosa said oh yeah you waving hey what's up uh crypto chick said in your opinion uh which which is better by g swift or root Ooh, man that's a whew, man. <laughs> that's a tough let's see let me think that's a that's a tough question. That is a tough question. Let me let me look. Let me look, y'all. Let me see. Mm. Now, see, I know this is where y'all get caught. And a lot of people do. Y'all seeing the difference in market cap. Oh, man. Right to, to me right now, as far as X potential, I'm not talking about market cap because one could have a higher market cap. It doesn't matter. I'm talking about both of them starting where they are X potential. I see them. I see them potentially being like neck and neck in terms of the gains that they can make. Um, I know Swift is lower and it's it's my baby and I got in early. Um, so you probably saying like, yeah, I was automatically say G Swift is lower and it can do more gains. But when people will find out like what was going on with them and um, the other project and if it catches on the right way, I think they're about, they're about even. They're probably about even. Um, that's how I, how I see it. I don't have a crystal ball, um, but let's see. Let me see one more metric on this, though. Yeah, so that's what I do know. So that one, well, really should ask that the Patreon, but uh, <laughs> it's all good. Um, but um, more, I would say more people in the Web three space do know currently about G Swift, and are probably going to be pumping it more. And it is low market cap, so uh, we'll see. I feel like they can be around the same. You know, that's all I can really say. Um, Elorm said, smash the like, guys. Yeah, I, I always forget to tell people to do that because I don't be, I really just come on here to talk to you guys. This is, it's the hour I take out of the day to talk to you guys and, um, you know, answer the questions because even though I type fast because I'm a writer, um, I can't always type as fast as I need to um, because really I'd be trying to get back to research. And like I always tell you, no matter how quiet it gets, just know I'm always I'm always doing something crypto related and researching for y'all. You might be like, well, why did you miss this micro cap that did a 4X? Is, I wasn't paying attention to. I can't see everything. It's 10,000 of them to keep up with. And um, some of them I'm just more bullish on than others. Um, oh, Fly said, oh, the whole Veil release. Now, I know they had a lot of things going, a lot of things going on with Alt and the, the Veil. And um, what was it? Um, I saw that tweet. Um why can't I think of Dastria? What is wrong with my brain right now? Um, let me look at this tweet. But the one project was older, and I know a lot of people wanted to ape into it. Um, and they asked me about it, but I wasn't trying to do What is this tweet at? Y'all bear me. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, with the Avail project, like Alt Layer, you know. <sighs> I know they got back with Darwinian Network. Um, and I'm pretty sure it probably did. I wasn't trying to hold it, though. Um, I know you asked about a veil, but it just all kinds of go. It all kinds of goes goes together. Um, I did see that because I keep up with them, obviously. 
No, it really didn't pump. It did, yeah, that one is so old that I just, I said it could potentially pump. But that's what I be saying all the time. Just because I think something could potentially pump don't mean I'm going to jump into it. But anyway, um, to answer your question, um, I'm going to read the whole question this time. Um, let's see how to, they didn't launch yet though. I don't think, did they? Or am I tripping? Sometimes I'd be having projects on my, um, I'm, I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think on that one. Um, but as far as being big as Celestia, uh, I don't think it'll be as big as Celestia. Um, I haven't, I've, I know the project and I haven't done the deepest research on it and I know all what they connected to. Uh, but I, I gotta hold that statement until I do deeper research and like follow up more. You know, on the project or whatever, um, and like, yeah, I don't think they, I don't think they've launched yet. I would feel real bad if I missed that, but um, yeah, I don't think they're gonna be big as Celestia though. I, I'm pretty sure I can say that pretty confidently. Um, I'm gonna look up some stuff on them right now, see if I can get some quick stuff for you. Uh, it may not work though. I may just have to do the deep dive. One thing I do know is I know I'm supposed to be getting an airdrop of it anyway. So maybe that's why, to be honest, that's why I haven't been researching it that much. I'm, I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Um, I'm not sure if you're in the Patreon or not. I always say, like, forgive me if I don't know your Patreon and YouTube name at the same time, y'all. Um, it's a lot for me to keep up with. Uh, Fly said, hello. Oh, they go with my babies. They just put out an uh, announcement in their Discord. Anyway. Um, if you could only, <laughs> I feel like this is about to be a hard question. If you could only hold, choose two to three projects to hold for the bull run on today's market cap, what would they be? Some tells me you're not in the Patreon. You you should know that. Like I said, once we forgive, forgive me if I don't know your Patreon name versus your YouTube name. But if you're in the Patreon, you should ask me in that Patreon. I would never answer that on stream. I'm sorry. Um, J Ray was it? Dre said thanks so. Uh, and Lauren says, though, do you do portfolio review like other Patreon groups? Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to talk about this one and may, might sound arrogant, but I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. I think you guys should be thankful because I do do that um, for a number of you guys and I don't charge an extra fee for it. I will say it's because the Patreon is still smaller um, that I do help people out with their portfolios. And tell me if I'm lying. If y'all on stream right now, I've helped a couple of people and looked at them. And most people will say, hey, this is for a whole nother tier and you got to pay twice as much or whatever, whatever. And but I will say, i um, not saying to you that I've reviewed your portfolio, but I think that's why, you know, I am nice and people may take advantage of my YouTube streams as well as my um, Patreon. For one, it's not expensive as all for the value that's in there. I answer a lot of stuff on stream. I don't charge astronomical prices, even though I feel like I know more than a lot of these people that charge sometimes three times um, what my Patreon is. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to put that on the stream and share it like the other people. But yeah, I do help people as of right now. Like when I, if I can get time off my research, um, I do try to look and sometimes in some, I don't think I ever went like two days, maybe be the next day or whatever, um, that I do help people with their portfolios and try to help them get better allocated. Um, but like I said, Hey, um, the Patreon is patreon.com slash crypto Um, and I mean this, I think, I think people think, uh, Cause what I got on there now for this tier, I have it right now is 142 remaining spots at this price, but it may change. I might cut that hundred off and make it just 42 more people at this price. Um, to be honest, uh, which sounds like a lot now until the market gets hard and everybody's trying to jump in Patreons. Um, and I know mine's one of the cheapest ones with the greatest value. Um, but so people probably thinking, oh, I got time or whatever, but the price, the price may go up sooner. I could change it anytime I want to. Nothing says I got to keep that as that. Um, I could say there's only 10 more people. But for the values getting and how busy the market is, is getting for the work that I do, um, yeah, I'm going to have to start charging more. Uh, like I said, I know a lot of people like to jump in those Patreons where they're telling you 10 billion trades per day. Oh, that's another thing. So let me say the stance first. So a lot of people got to get in those Patreons and tell you, oh, this is the trade for the day. Not saying nothing wrong with that. If that's what y'all want to do, but what I'll keep saying is the people that hold the most, um, the ones that make the most money. What I do have for you guys that I don't have today, but maybe I'll have it tomorrow. Uh, the, I gave an example the other day of one one Patreon that started at six thousand. Yes, they started with a thousand more dollars, but they started with six dollars. 
$6,000. They hailed. Um, I'm going to show you with, with both of them. They they said they agreed that I could show both. I won't tell you who they are, but both of them agreed that I can show you what happened with their portfolios. Um, one started with 6000 with me and a um, thousand more dollars, but they started with 6000 and they're up to, it did retrace a little bit. So I think they're like 96000 but they were up to 108000 at one point. Started with 6000 went up to 108000 retraced it. They're at like 96, maybe 94000 right now. Um, the other one uh, did listen to some of my calls of it. You know, they they tried to get the trades and they have a number of trades. Two two of them, I believe, were 10 X's. Um, they had a couple four X's, uh, maybe like eight four X's and some different stuff. But trade and, and when you're trading, you're making money on these trades. It feels good. But they started with five thousand and their portfolio now is at thirty four thousand. So they started at five thousand. They traded got a couple of 10 X's here and there and their portfolio is at 36,000. The other person started at 6,000 held and they're at my lady just said something. What just happened? Did I go out? The sound still on? Oh, um, I thought she was talking to me. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, but they got it. They put 6,000 in and they're at, you know, about a hundred thousand now. So I know it feels good when you're making the trades and stuff and you feel like you're making more money. But what I, what I said was you're never going to put you're never going to put five thousand in and make a two X and have ten thousand and put the full ten thousand dollars into the next trade, because for one, that's not smart. Usually you're taking a portion of it to get that next 10 X or 20 X or five X or whatever you're doing. And then you look around and you've just done a whole lot of work for nothing. Um, and so both of them are going to show me they're going to give me the numbers of each trade and how it worked out. And maybe I'll do that on one of the streams and show you guys. Um, I know you're like, man, this dude missing out. He missing out on this trade here. But. When you get in good plays and just hold it, it just it comes to you. And so um, without any work, just buying one time, the one person who held made three times as much money um, than the other person. But anyway, I don't want to bore you all with that because I know y'all want to hear that. Y'all like, but this junk is popping like, man, I'm about to go get this five X. This thing is at a as a 16 million. I mean, a sixteen thousand dollar market cap. I'm going to get a five billion X on this. And so I understand y'all like doing it. I'm not going to try to knock it, but. I'm just telling you from my experience. Anyway, if you want to get in Patreon, get in before the price goes up. Um, that is not me trying to make you FOMO or scare you into getting into it. It's just what I have to do because the market is going to get hot soon. We're going to get further into the bull cycle. I'm going to have to be doing more research, answering more questions, answering more DMs. So I have to, you know, the value has to go up um, and it's cheap right now. So uh, go ahead and get in patreon.com slash crypto Um and I know I should do better when this most people like pin it or something, but I don't really I really be coming to these streams every day just thinking about giving y'all the information. I don't be thinking about shilling my Patreon or whatever. Cause really I'm in this to make I'm gonna make my money regardless. And I just really just share the information I find um with other people. So I'm I'm here focused on making money. Um but yeah, thank you guys. I don't know. I felt like this stream was relaxed and in my mind it was 40 minutes, but it was like twice that. But uh, thank you guys for hanging out on the stream once again. Um, Say, said, why don't you support crypto payments? I'm starting to mix some of y'all up because I thought one of you just got, I do support crypto payments. <laughs> what do you mean? I, I do. Um, I don't know who said I didn't support crypto payments. I support crypto payments, especially if you want to just go ahead and do the lifetime membership, which especially now is like dirt cheap. Like if you want to go ahead and do the lifetime, it's like for the next two years for the bull cycle is what I call it. Um so um and then nothing my pro i'm gonna be honest i have seen that like when some of you guys join about the the vat the vat tax and all that i feel like i was like man should i look no my price is too low pay the vat tax <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry i'm just being honest because it'd be different if i was like 150 or 200 dollars and then you gotta pay that vat tax but it's so cheap now that you should be like whatever just pay the vat tax or whatever man it's like it's worth it um but yeah i do support crypto payments and um oh but then what happened was that because I was new to Patreon, I think I had to be on the three months. I couldn't even do maybe in the next couple of days, I'll be able to do like a yearly membership fees. But right now they only let me do monthly fees. So I can't do the yearly or the lifetime yet because I haven't been on Patreon long enough. But if you DM me, see, I don't, yeah, I, could tell, I don't even be working hard for the money, y'all, because I, I really don't be trying to suck money from y'all. I don't care. Um, but So I don't work hard enough sometimes. But um. Uh, uh, Message me on this post after on this YouTube post and may I'll link my Twitter or something. My Twitter should be linked to here anyway. And you can DM me on there and then I can send you one of my um one of my um crypto addresses if you want to pay in crypto. Um you can do that. 
But what they what the monthly thing is hard for me to keep with everybody. Um, and, you know, I have somebody else handle that. So if I'm gonna be honest, some of y'all that talk a lot in the Patreon, I don't think y'all realize that y'all payment either ran out or was supposed to ran out. Some four of y'all caught it. It was like, wait a minute. But yeah, my person is gonna, as soon as the, the thing is cut off, they're gonna cut you off from the Patreon or whatever, because that's just what they do. Um, because you know, you gotta pay for the membership or whatever. Uh but yeah, hit me up on the stream math and I'll put a, a link address here where you can pay in crypto. Um, plus include one year lifetime membership through crypto payments in the site itself. Yeah, I can't do that right now because I haven't been on Patreon long enough. Um, and I tried to set it up the other week when two or three people asked, asked about it. Um, but when I'm able to do that in the next probably couple of weeks, I think, um, I'll add that to it. But for right now, you can hit me up on Twitter or comment on this YouTube video when it ends or whatever YouTube video I should see them. I'll see you my Twitter DM or whatever, and, um, we can work it out from there. Uh, but yeah, so I'll get the lifetime membership things set up soon or whatever. Um, but to be honest, not mine, but a lot of people do that to trap people, but whatever. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll get it on there. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out on the stream. Uh, hopefully you got some good perspective today and, uh, get your, you get your USDC off the Tron network. Um, and potentially think about what you want to do with your Thor chain and room because of the little problems they're having. It could be just FUD. And like some people say, when it FUDs, it's a good time to buy. I don't know if this is one of those times, though. Um, and yeah, so let me answer some stuff in the Patreon that I know you guys are probably asking me about. And then I'm going to get to my research. Usually I, straight, I go straight back to research. I know it's bad, but I'm going to answer you guys in there and then um, get to this research and some of this airdrop farming and stuff I got to do. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. I'll see you next.